good morning everyone in this session we are going to see one of the very important invention in the part of supraglottic airway device that is i gel as we all know supraglottic airway device was first invented by archie brain initially it was used for by the paramedical persons until expertise in airway management comes later on it has been used in all parts of anesthesia especially it fills the gap between the mask ventilation and intubation so nowadays we are using it uh, in all aspects uh, during general anesthesia for airway management even as a uh, not only as a rescue device it is been used instead of endotracheal tube as the safety profile is go keeps on increasing with various inventions the supraglottic uh, device is de definitely a very important milestone in airway management in anesthesia so coming to this equipment this equipment was first invented by mohammad aslam nasir so he devised this equipment and nowadays the intersurgicals from uk is marketing this so how do we approach this device that is see the peculiar difference between the other type of lma that is supraglottic airway device and the sigel is it is classified as a cuffless device or a non inflatable cuff to be more specific it is it comes under the category of non inflatable cuff so you can see the two parts of lma is mask and the shaft or airway tube similar to other classic lma but the peculiarity of this cuff is it is a non inflatable or you can call it as cuffless so what is the importance of this device so this also comes in second generation supraglottic airway device because it consists of a separate channel for gastric deflation so this is a non inflatable cuff the peculiarity of this cuff is this is a thermo elastic elastomer that is made up of styrene ethylene betadine styrene so we call it as sebs the thermo elastomeric elastomer so what it happen what it will do is once we insert once it occupies the proper peri laryngeal space because of the warmth or body temperature it molds according to the peri laryngeal structures so that after some point of time it provides adequate seal like the cuffed device so there is no need to create or inflate air to create or to prevent the leak around the peri laryngeal structures so that is a very important peculiarity so with this advantage the, uh, compared to the classic lma this i gel the cuff mask of this i gel is very very small compared to the other supraglottic airway device other supraglottic airway that is classic cuff device initially when you deflate it will be small but after inflation it will be big it occupies a bigger position the wider position portion of the airway so that is the biggest advantage that it can be easily inserted so to repeat this is a self inflatable uh, that is a cuffless or a self inflatable that is uh, the because of the thermo elastomeric elastomer it is going to occupy the peri laryngeal structures and mold accordingly after some point of time so it's a cuffless device so when you closely see the distal end of this cuff you can see a an orifice this is nothing but the channel for distal channel for exit of the gastric that is rails tube 